got all the fairings sanded and stuff. Now to actually make the motorbike work, because as it currently stands, it doesn't start. And the first problem what we have got is the fact that the person who gave me the motorbike thinks it's the starter motor, but I know it's not the starter motor because it turns over and you can hear the starter motor kick in. So it's something, it's something under this engine case. So we've got to take this engine case off and basically have a look, see what's going on. And then obviously we'll find out what we need to buy to actually get the motorbike running. And then, yeah, so let's do it. So, I'm guessing that's just an over elaborate filter for the carb. So, I mean, I'm gonna open it just to see what's actually inside of it because I don't actually know what's inside of these things. But I'm gonna open it up. But I'm, again, I, I think it's just an over elaborate carb filter. So, if I'm not, I'm probably just gonna get an aftermarket one and stick it on back because it'll look better. And yeah, so we don't actually need to put that back on. I'm gonna put it back on when I test fire it, just because I don't want I'm getting into carbon and fucking it up, basically. socket big enough to get that off oh what are the chances of that right that's loose that's cool but i'm not going to take that fully off yet i'm going to leave that on get this engine case off this engine case needs to come off anyway because this whole thing's getting resprayed i might leave it chrome i don't know yet i don't know about the color pattern i know i'm off black with the fairings but the rest of it, I think I'm like, I'm either going to go chrome or like a, an amphasite grey. I am yet. remember that goes back on there. I need to remember that. Um, check this out. So the engine mount, oh, engine cover, sorry. Bearings. The bearings are not too bad. The clip looks a bit slack, but I could tighten that back up. Right, I've gone in and put some gloves on because now we're getting into the nitty gritty of it. I don't actually want to get my hands dirty because I'm not meant to be doing this now. I just literally could not wait because I want to know what's up with it. Uh, but yeah, as I say, there's nothing on this that actually reads that is bad. Everything looks fine. Is this the clutch mechanism? So let's pull this off, see what the clutch is like. I don't want to pull it all off. Obviously wear and tear. Looks like metal. Does look like metal shards are in it. But that could just be from the actual clutch pads itself. But again, the clutch pads look fine. They actually look new, to be fair. In all intents and purposes, they look brand new, to be fair. So we've got the start of index there. Oh, 
かなんだろう Right, that seems to be it That's exactly why it's not starting Don't tell me that's fucking Don't tell me I'm going to take the starter out for that Can I get that out? Oh mate That's what's up with it That's the starter bendix. Basically, what happens is there's a little cog there inside the. Hang on, I'll show you. For anyone that wants to know. <laughs> God, how the money's that? Oh, that's the starter bendix is there. And that connects to the actual starter motor, which you'll not be able to see, but it's just there. In there. You can see the little cog. So the starter motor whizzes that around and then that in turn whizzes that around and gets the motor going essentially with that little cog there but as you can see it snapped so we uh we need a new bendix is what i'm trying to say but i don't know how to get that out okay so my an absolute shit storm that is my workbench i uh I got it, that's what it's meant to look like, and that's what the old one looks like, so yeah, it's not part, it's not like a refurbished one, it's actually a brand new one, brand new milled one, because I didn't want to risk it, if that one snapped, I didn't want to get a part worn one, and then risk that one snapping, so I just gave an extra bit, I mean it was only like 11 quid anyway, so I mean to get that working, well I'm hoping, I'm hoping that's what it is. I'm gonna guess that's what it is.
And there we go. Turns out it was the start appendix. Twelve quid fix. I got the actual bike for free. It's on twelve quid in a minute. Barring all like the paint stripper and stuff like that. Yeah. Great.